Oh, okay, you were answering to the, my initial question. Okay, yeah. So my question today is, again, what is your biggest challenge on your trade psychology? On your trade psychology, right? Yes, and uh, okay, he goes on that the, uh, I see people switch strategies all the time instead of sticking one with one and practicing it. Right, right, that's true. Yeah, and, but I think this is something that every, everybody, most of, most of people go through, I think. Then, finally, choose one specific rule to follow. Okay, he continues, I fear not the man who has practiced uh, 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee. Oh, yes, that's right, that's right, yeah. So, consistency is really important. Yeah, just to add, add to that, I think uh, what he also means, just in my opinion, is that uh, let's say you kick one by one every day. You just kick once per day and do this 10,000 days. And I think, uh, yeah, that will be more fearful. That will be, he will be more stronger because on these 10,000 days, not every day, he was in a good condition. Maybe he was some, some days he was feeling down, some days he was sick, some days he was feeling happy, he was sad, he was angry. But no matter what psychology state, he has been doing one kick 10,000 days. And that, mean, that means a lot. Because it's consistency, so uh, whenever he kicks, he knows what kind of psychology he is. So that when the similar pattern happens in the future, he knows what to do, he knows how to kick. Uh, and that becomes the wisdom of him. Let's say when he is feeling down, then he may hit only soft. When he's, he, he has a lot of energy, then he, he can hit hard, maybe. But uh, same is true in trading. Yeah, same is true in trading. Um, I say whenever you are feeling down or whenever you're tired, I don't recommend you to trade because I think trading is and also psychology is closely connected. So for me also, whenever I have a big day or when I don't feel good psychologically or uh, physically, I don't trade. However, I still check charts every day. I still check charts every day, but I talk to myself, and if my psychology isn't right, if my emotion is not right, then I don't take trades because I know whenever whenever I do, and when I when I make profits, it's okay. When when I feel down, and when I make profits, it's okay. But the problem actually comes when I feel down and when I lose trade. Then I know I get I becomes emotional, and. Uh, I may, I may uh, break the rules sometimes. So that's why now I decided not to trade when, I, not, when I'm not feeling good, psychologically or uh, physically. But uh, by, by uh, monitoring charts every day, I know how I feel, and I know if I'm in the mood of trading or not. So that's why I think also every time I lose, I don't feel the losses because every time I trade, I don't feel sad. I don't feel like uh, bad. I'm always in a good condition whenever I take trades, and that's why uh, I don't feel uh, I don't feel like uh, so emotional whenever I lose. Yeah, this is the emotional or the psychological side, except for the back testing and prove that my system works, except for that, um, that's how I manage my own psychology. So, yeah, um, when I posted the video of BNF, BNF is one of the most famous Japanese traders, but uh, when I posted his video, and uh, I was mentioning that, uh, you know, trade emotionless, emotion, no emotional, 
like trade without any emotion. And uh, you know, uh, when I said that, some people misunderstood uh, and, and actually emailed me that you know it, it would be impossible because we are not robots. Uh, you know, we can't really take away our emotion our, from ourselves, and that's true. That's true. And what I really wanted to say in that video is that uh, of course we are human beings. We're not robots, so it, there is no way that we eliminate our emotion. There is no way, but we better not to eliminate our emotion, because emotion gives us some uh, creativity and some art, some music. Relationship comes from emotion too. So emotion itself is not a bad thing, but the ignorance of emotion is what cause what's causing some issues. So uh, whenever you're fading down, let's say when you take a trade. When you buy, the market goes back, you exit with a loss, and talk to yourself. If you still, still think it's okay, then you just take another trade. And let's say on the second trade, the market goes back again, and you lose again. And then ask yourself, how do I feel? Do I feel emotional? Do I feel struggle? If the answer is yes, then stay away. Don't take any trades. Never revenge trade. Ne don't take a look at the markets. Completely stay away from the markets physically, and come back after w once you become comfortable. Uh, once you come back to your normal psychology, then come back to chart and take trades. In this way, uh, I think you feel less emotion and less emotion every time you take trades and every time you take some losses.